Matt Johnson with Team TTI, repping Ryobi today and Milwaukee. That's what's up. And that's what's up. All right, so it looks like we have some straps for 897, 20, uh, 20 foot vehicle recovery strap. I got Husky for 798, which was 1397. 12 inch tool bag, heavy duty ratcheting tie downs for $8.97. So you save a dollar. Uh, you got some, yeah, these are pretty much uh, just straps. You got $8.97 for a four pack of 12 inch by one foot ratcheting tie downs. It's actually not a bad deal. You got just uh, your standard 24 inch plastic toolbox for 12 inch. 88 same thing 1488 you have a 1200 lumen broad range utility light for 2488 you have a 12 volt car outlet air inflator and 120 volt so once for 2497 you got one for the car one for the standard wall <laughs> Mm. For two thirty nine, you can get the Dewalt air compressor, uh, nailer, nailer included, and a hose. Uh, one hundred sixty five max psi. Like I said for two thirty nine. You get a cabinet light. Ooh, that's actually not. That's not a twenty bucks. Uh, too bad it's not a two pack. But that's for nineteen eighty eight. For $9.97, you can get the nine and three quarter aviation snips. And for $14.97, you get the six and 10 inch adjustable wrench set. So that, that's those two. For $100, you get two three amp hour batteries for Makita. Or $14.97, you get their 10 piece Impact XPS 3 8 drive six point impact set. Those are those. Uh, pricing on this, I don't see it here, but it's probably somewhere else in the store. 97, you got some uh, boot uh, insoles for uh, 1998. Uh, for 1998, you get some elbow, joint, and waist supports. 997, you get the four piece uh, scraper set. Husky or a seven piece pick set. It's not bad. Got some bags. Got a torch. That's actually nice for $16.58. That's actually not a bad deal. I should get that. Up for $200. You can get the 232 piece, a quarter inch, and three eighths inch drive. 92 with a mechanics tool set. That is right here by Gear Wrench. As you can see, like the holiday, like it's early in the morning, so not many people are here. You get some lights for 1988, 1297, Sim Beam. See, like this is good for the cabinets. If you can put that underneath, that's not bad. 1997, you get a rechargeable work light. Uh, sound splash, a Bluetooth speaker. I guess it's waterproof for eight eighty-eight each. A color, color galaxy, starlight. Ooh, that's not bad for thirty-four ninety-seven. That's not bad at all. I actually might get that, test that out in the in the office. Yeah, I'm actually gonna get that. Got a boom, 1997 uh, Aqua Boost Boom Wireless Waterproof Bluetooth Speaker. It says sweet deal. Got a lamp for 1988. All right, so I'm looking for, there we go, 1988. You get the 16 piece Speed Demon a Spade Bit Set from Diablo. For 4797 two pack, 10 inch 40 tooth general purpose saw blades. At the, that's 40 teeth, you know, you just chop through the wood. 
It will be a nice smooth cut for uh, $54.97. You get the two pack 12 inch 44 tooth general purpose saw blade. Stanley 25 foot uh, tape measure 688 or uh, six in one multi bit for 488 screwdriver. $89 for the Makita. You get the pneumatic two inch, two foot eight gauge. So that you get the for $89, you get the pneumatic two inch eight, 18 gauge brad nailer. For $229, you get the Makita 21 degree framing nailer. That's a big mamma jamma. For $59, you get the Ryobi One Plus stapler. I, ha I haven't gotten that yet. Rigid. Do they have pricing right here? No. For $169, you get uh, this is actually not a bad deal. This, so you get two of them. I'm going to assume you get two in this pack. Yes. See, th this isn't a bad deal right here. You get a 16 gauge straight finish nailer and an 18 gauge brad nailer combo kit. For $179, you get the 18 volt, 18 gauge brad nailer with clean drive technology. Uh, $249, you get the 21 pneumatic framing nailer. That's also a big mamma jamma. You got baterias. Uh, table saws or pricing on this. Yep, one forty-nine. Oh, that's for the stand. Three seventy-nine. It was three ninety-nine. You get the twelve-inch dual bevel sliding miter saw from Rigid. This is corded. The Ryobi. Uh, that's right. Pricing. Uh, this is also a ten-inch sliding compound miter saw. Uh. No, that's wrong pricing. That's the Walt. One seventy nine for the Ryobi. You have an in, uh, Avanti Pro nineteen ninety seven two pack ten inch uh, six sixty tooth uh, finish. Sorry, start that again. Nineteen ninety seven. We get a two pack ten inch sixty tooth fine finish saw blades. Uh, I use Avanti. I'm not a fan of them. The blades actually wear out pretty quickly. Same thing over here for four eighty eight. You get a six piece bimetal reciprocating saw blade set, or you can get a two pack seven and a quarter twenty four tooth framing saw blades. Like I said, Avanti Pro, I'm, they don't. In my experience, they don't last that long. They chop up pretty easily. Twenty four ninety nine for this. Wow, it's not bad. This is actually a nice little uh, heat gun, hot glue gun. Twenty-four ninety-seven for the hot glue gun. Twenty-four ninety-seven for the regular size one, which I'd go with this one. It depends on what your application is. For forty-nine dollars, you get the Ryobi the uh, the floodlight, twenty-one LED work light, uh, twenty-four hundred lumens. Seventy-nine dollars, you get the eighteen volt speaker, Bluetooth wireless speaker. I do not know if that has a radio involved with it. $59, so for, sorry, for $69, you get the rotary tool, which I already did a video on that. Get the 18, I have this as well. My wife, this is my wife's favorite tool. 18-volt uh, uh, EverCharge. I'm not a fan of EverCharge. I just don't like it. Hand vacuum kit, which I think those are not here at the moment. Uh, you get the, for or $59, you could also get the, the, the fan. And it comes with a battery, hybrid portable fan kit, which I use this every day. Yeah, WD-40. $49 for the 18 volt digital inflator. That's not a bad price. $229 for their 12 inch dual bevel miter saw. This is not bad. $100 for two 4 amp hour batteries. That's not bad at all. With their new technology, hundred dollars for their uh, subcompact impact driver kit. Comes with a battery, a charger, and a bag. Or at the same price, the same thing, and you actually get an, another battery with it. You get the for the subcompact drill driver. So 
So you get two batteries with this one and one battery with this one. I'm hoping to see uh, the Ryobi link system here, but I doubt it. Uh, let's see. Uh, for $500, you get the six tool camel kit with Tough System 2.0. You get a circular saw, reciprocating saw, multi dot tool, sander, impact driver, and an impact, uh, sorry, drill driver for 500 bucks. Uh, let's see, Husky 998 for their 37-inch uh, rolling tool box utility cart. That's actually pretty heavy-duty. Not as heavy-duty as uh, the Milwaukee Packout, but still. 59 uh, 97 for uh, a space heater. Infrared heater, what's the price on this? Uh, I don't see a price. No. $139, $139 for that. So $200 for this kit, which don't buy this kit, you guys. This kit is garbage. It's all brush tools. Don't buy this kit. It's garbage. Milwaukee M12 heated gear, which I am wearing right now. You can see I'm a huge fan of the Milwaukee heated gear. And so, yeah, I, I was totally recommend you guys get uh, heated gear, uh, the M12 heated gear. I love it. Like it seriously helps keep me warm. And so that's what I would do if I were you guys. Get the M12 heated gear, it's worth it. It does come with uh, tool storage inside. Sorry guys, when it comes to tool storage, I'm all about to pack out. I'm not a big fan of the DeWalt or even the Ryobi that's out. The, the pack out's number one. I'm sorry. I am biased when it comes to tool storage because that the pack out system is, it's too perfect. It's too perfect. Anything special uh, for the, this is now $600 instead of 649 for the 32 volt uh, X2 LXT uh, uh, dual bevel sliding miter saw. Comes with two five amp hour batteries or just says five amp hour batteries. I'm assuming it's gonna come with two. That is smooth. No price drops, no price drops. You got rigid. See, rigid is a lot cheaper and it, it, the rigid stuff's actually pretty robust. But just the compatibility of them going into the other storage systems, Packout's number one. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Anything special for me? No. And when it comes to tool, like uh, the discount center, there's nothing really special at my Home Depot's. Nothing really special about it. So here's the prices for the rigid, 119 for the hammer drill, the new hammer drill, 129 for the impact driver, 129 for the uh, octane jigsaw. See, this is what I don't get. Why would they still have octane if they have a new line out? Like, I, in my opinion, they should have stuck with octane, octane and make these better. 169 for rigid's reciprocating saw. 149 for the two uh, batteries charger in a bag. That charger does not seem legit. Anything special in vacuums? <coughs> I do have the. I do have this vacuum. It's worth it. Uh, I, I use this to clean the shop, clean the cars, clean up anything that I need to. Use this to clean the house. And nothing really special. Yeah, see, that's the difference in size between the M18 and the M12. I love the M12. It's, it's worth it.
And the M12 is, it's a wet dry vac too, it's only a hundred bucks. Worth it. Ooh, they have that here. I want this. I want this, this is nice. Good jump starter for the winner. Now they usually don't have any dis anything special out on display in the regular wall because everything's already out in front on the best prices. This jigsaw is awesome. This is the XR jigsaw. It is it is a nice jigsaw. Anything special on belt sanders or sanding pads? I don't see any price drops. When it comes to this, this is already out on the, the, the main alley floor. Yeah, I don't see price drops. $100 for the vacuum. I do have this. It's a pretty decent vacuum. Uh, but the problem that I have is air comes out of the seams a lot. And that is that. Nothing really special. All right, let's go to the, the gift center. Yeah, they do have the kit here. $100, $200 for the kit. They do have the uh, Atomic uh, Bandsaw for two hundred dollars. They have the Atomic SDS hammer drill. See, I I do love it that Dewalt is expanding the Atomic line. Like that's I like that. I do like that they're majorly expanding it. See, and this is this is what I'm talking about. When it comes to Ryobi system, this you can get this for a hundred and fifty dollars. All right, this kit. For $150, you know, like, and it's, it's actually a good tough system. So, like, when it comes to uh, the new Ryobi stuff, uh, the, the storage system, it better be tough. Don't get Ryobi bits, you guys. They are garbage. Do not buy Ryobi bits. All right, guys, just so you know, I've already been through. There are plenty of videos of this stuff coming out. All right, so like they, Ryobi does have a nice sale for $100 for a lot of their new tools. So for the seven and a quarter inch uh, circular saw, it's $80 for 240 power batteries. This is the new model. $179 for their table saw, which I'm glad I got the one that I have. This is a 10 inch with folding, with a folding stand. $69 for their brush to jigsaw. Is this brushed? I think this is brushed. Yeah, they don't don't get that. Don't get that. Spend the extra $25 or 30 bucks and get the brushless one. It'll last you far far longer. It'll be far more powerful. You got $129 for their 10 gallon stainless steel wet dry vac. Got some filters for $24.97. Was $29.97. Different filters for 20 bucks for a single one, $26 for their fine dust filter. And these are the sales. So yeah, like that you can get these tools for free. X-Lock is good. Drywall screw screwdriver. Yeah, so that is Makita's sales right there. Just take a look at it. I don't need to go individually into everything because there's plenty of videos for that. Same thing with Milwaukee. These are the free tools. They you go with each of these kits. Get one free, get one free, get one free, get one free. I think they might be out of that one. That's a garbage impact wrench anyways, don't get it. I got plenty of videos on these two out. $200 for the, the Bluetooth radio. 
which that might be more expensive than last year. Wonky pack out. Like I said, this is my favorite unit right here. Yes, yeah, so you like like this kit is awesome. This is an awesome kit. Two twenty nine for their pack out rolling cart. Now, if you're in absolute dire need for this, I don't think that this is a good good item. This is because this you put stuff on top and you got to take everything off to get to it. It, it. To me, it's it's not efficient. It's not efficient enough. Yeah, it's a big unit. It is a big unit for $229. $100 for their two pack, four amp hour battery, HP batteries. Like I said, $100 for their, uh, in, uh, is that a hammer drill? Yes, it is a hammer drill. $100 for their paddle switch angle grinder. See, see spend the extra 30 bucks and get the brushless jigsaw. $100 for the recip saw, one and a quarter inch stroke. 169 for the 159 for the blower that comes with the battery so pretty much yeah yeah so that's a good deal 350 cfm it's not bad 180 for their drill driver and impact driver kit that's variable trigger only when it comes to the impact driver so yeah so like uh hp kit that's a that's a cute little kit down there for 249 that's not bad they're like it has their compact stuff in there and that's not a bad price for that kit yeah just do not get that other kit for 200 brush tools are garbage it's like just for a little bit more you can get a much more efficient tool than you will if you get a brushed tool one thing i am very disappointed about is this was the they had a display of the new brad nailer on here which this is the old one. We don't have the new Brad Nailer here yet. Yeah, this is the older model, which I have. Like I said, garbage kit. Get 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 that kit. This kit is garbage. Actually, I should do a versus video between these and that kit. Uh, was it $69 for a vacuum? Now, this vacuum is actually very useful. I got the previous uh, model, but like I do love this vacuum. It's quiet. It's powerful enough to clean up the uh, the, the job site. And yeah, it's 69 bucks. It's not a bad deal. Comes with all this. 119 Now, this is the one that I have. I did a video on this already, which I love this thing. It's it, it's it does my it does the job. It's it's decently quiet. So this is a good buy right here for one uh, twenty. One nineteen for their seven and a quarter inch miter saw. Uh, I think this is battery or uh, it's corded. Where's the voltage? It's not one plus, so it is it is corded. We already been through those. Three ninety nine for the rigid uh, table saw with stand, and three ninety nine for their twelve. We already went through that. But do not buy these bits. Do not. These bits are garbage. This is garbage. Do not buy it. Do not buy this saw. Uh, this saw. Uh, the, the Milwaukee M12 fuel hatchet is more powerful than this. Yeah, don't don't buy this. Hundred dollars for this. Do not buy. Do not buy. Do not buy. Do not buy. But I do suggest you buy those. Like I said, the the brushless stuff. All right, this is the vacuum that we already talked about. Already talked about. Now, the, your choice, $49 each. Uh, that's good. You can get that. Like, that's worth the buy. Uh, if you barely use a uh, multi-tool, then you can get that. But if you use it more than often, don't. The Like I said, 40, $49 each. Do not buy this one. Don't buy, don't buy. You can buy that. These two are worth the purchase. The rest of them are not. 20, 20 bucks for the digital inflator. This is a fantastic tool. I have one of these in my wife's car. It is a 
when you need it, you're glad it's there. Actually, I have one of these at work and my coworkers use it all the time. So this is a good purchase. Oh, 129 for the kit. This kit is worth it. I, I do love these tools. They're good compact tools. $89 for the impact driver, the subcompact. $89 for the cutoff tool. That's worth it. These tools are worth it. Buy these tools. Don't buy the bits. I love Ryobi, but I hate brushed tools. All right, $100 for the Atomic for a drill driver and impact driver. So do not buy the older Atomic impact driver, which where is that right here? Do not buy this. Don't buy this. Get, get the new one. Get the new one. Unless if it's $100 for the kit for the drill driver and impact driver itself. But do not buy this one. Do they have it here? Inst instead, buy this one. Same price, 100 bucks. This impact driver is fantastic. Don't get the other impact driver. $100 for the single-handed recip saw. Yes, hey, I got it right here. This one is good. This one's trash. Like uh, compared to this one, so don't get this one. So don't so don't get this one. Uh, I already been through this stuff. These are the prices for that. Twenty dollars for two twenty-five foot uh, tape measures. Eighty dollars for a pneumatic eighteen gauge brad nailer with a hard case. What's this? $29.98 for a two amp fully automatic battery charger. Ooh, that's actually, that would be pretty handy. You could charge up your uh, your batteries with like a boat or wave runner with that as well. Like a uh, trickle charge. All right, you've been through that. I do love Milwaukee M12, uh, Milwaukee M12 stuff. Nice level, $24.97 for this. Oh, that's for the, the $24.97 for the level, $40 bucks for this. For the whole dozer kit, buy metal. It's covered up by the pieces. How many pieces are in there? 11 pieces. Do not buy this, this is garbage. The Milwaukee, uh, where is it? Where is it? Let's take this whip because this M12 fuel hammer drill is more powerful than that impact driver. Like you could do the same job with this fuel uh, hammer drill than the impact driver would. It'll drive in the same stuff. So yeah, that's why I say brush tools are garbage. Buy this and not this and you get a hammer feature. This drill sucks. This this drill will majorly overpower this drill, and this drill will majorly overpower the impact driver. I already did a video on it. I'll put it right here if I remember. Sorry about that. All right, so uh, brushed 120 bucks, 100 and sorry, 119 for the angle grinder, four and a half inch. 129 for the single-handed 18-volt reciprocating saw. 119 for the 18-volt rover mounting floodlight. 129 for the reciprocating saw. 129 for the 16 and a half inch circular saw. Uh, the radius flood lamp. Uh, what's the lumens on that? Where's the lumens? It doesn't say the lumens. It should, though. 2,200 lumens for 150 $19 for the 10 plus 10 saw blades, re recip saw blades. 229 for the M12 hammer drill and impact driver fuel kit. Worth it. This is a good purchase. 129 for the, we already went through that over in vacuums. Twenty-four and eighty-eight for two filters. 
$9.97 each uh, for a pen, for a marker. Ink saw, uh, fine point job site markers. $19.97 for the 25 foot wide blade tape measure. And also $19.97 for the nine in one ratcheting driver, eight in, eight in one compact ratcheting driver. So you get the two kit for that. Already been through that. The uh, Milwaukee gloves, uh, they're pretty decent. They don't last too long with me. I like those though, those are nice. Actually, I might pick this up. I'm buying this. Uh, as you see, uh, $7.97 for some safety glasses, some hats and hoodies, $14.97 and $19.97. $14.97 for the hammers. Milwaukee bits are actually pretty good. But when it comes to uh, drill bits, I'd go with DeWalt. And so, yeah, so $100 each for this kit. Two three, three amp hour batteries, uh, $159 for the fuel uh, hatchet. One fifty, sorry, for the saws, uh, sorry, messed up. $159 for the hacksaw reciprocating saw kit. $179 for the multi-tool, which actually that's a good multi-tool. $199 for each of these, the 3 8 inch high-speed rationing kit or installation driver kit. I still got to test that out because it does come with four attachments. We'll do this against Hilti. And do they still have the best tool sale? No, they actually don't have that anymore. They actually don't have that anymore. It's sold out. All right, Makita, 169 for the subcompact toolkit. Oh, actually, I feel gypped. I should have gotten this instead. Or $99 each. I have a video on this. I have a couple of videos on this. $139 for the, uh, the six and a half inch circular saw. $139 for the subcompact brushless reciprocating saw. Makita XPS bits are fantastic. That's a good deal right there. I love Makita bits. Makita, when it comes to drill driver bits, Makita and Hilti are my number one. Already been through all that, been through all that. I am buying these. I like these. I'll use these for the for winter. All right, you guys. So I just did purchase this. I purchased these, these gloves. I am going to replace these gloves because these have a leather... Uh, other surface so I will, will be able to brush off the snow off my car without these getting soaked. So that's pretty much it you guys. So if you found this video helpful and entertaining, please like this video. Please hit the bell button to be notified of future videos and please subscribe to the channel. This is Dave Nicholas. Thank you for tuning in. I'll see you guys next time.